Hello, I'm Kendra Winchester. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a book haul for you. Books that I've bought, books that were sent to me. Um, I am just going to hold them up and show them to you and say I'm excited about all of them, but you know, I really am. And <laughs> uh, there's not a lot of books being sent out right now because of the pandemic. So I am very grateful for the publishers who have sent me these books. Um, but first, I'm going to tackle the books that I bought myself. So I bought four books because I'm doing a project around books about disability um, in July. Um, and so this first one is The Pretty One uh, by Kia Brown. And she actually started the hashtag Disabled and Cute. And so it's her experience being a queer black woman with a disability. Um, Exile and Pride, Disability, Queerness, and Liberation by Eli Clare. They are a genderqueer author, I believe, who wrote about the intersections of all of these different things, so I'm very interested in that. And here's another one by uh, Care Work, a Dreaming Disability, uh, Dreaming Disability Justice that I have seen wandering around, and then a, then the a Disability History of the United States by Kim E. Nielsen. Um, what I found interesting when reading books about disability is that I I can only take so much of it because this this is my this is my life right that I live every day and so recently I actually was reading through disability visibility which I'll talk about later um, and the first chapter involves eugenics it's really horrible to read so if you do pick up disability visibility it's very good but I am so grateful they put content warnings on each of the essays because I needed them so much so much love to them for doing that but I'll be doing a different project and a video about all of the books that I'm reading for this and down the road but so just stay tuned. <laughs> so there was a um, blackout the bestseller list campaign happening over on bookstagram and so I bought The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett which is actually downstairs because I'm in the middle of it but I also bought uh, Black Girl Unlimited by Echo Brown which is a um, a fantastical kind of memoir so I'm very excited about it it's in it's a YA book I was looking in for in print for a long time and I finally found it at Barnes and Noble so here we are um, I also bought a book from Hub City Press which is uh, one of my favorite indie presses here in South Carolina and this is Sleepovers this is uh, their short story collection and they have like this uh, short story um, award that they give out I believe every year or something and so this was the winner of the C. Michael Curtis short story book prize there we go the real name of the prize and this is by Ashley Bryant Phillips this is her first work of fiction that has been published and it's been doing really well so I'm very happy for her um, because I've I just think I, I have bought their short story collections they, they put out for this prize the last few years and uh, women have been doing so well in that. Uh, I shared last time um, that when I go to doctor's offices I wrap up a book and that's not by a, a woman and I get it at the end of the appointment and so my most recent one is Boys of Alabama by Genevieve Hudson. They are a writer that focuses on a lot of I believe southern and rural queer stories. Um, I believe the author is non-binary and so they write about kind of queer love in the south which is great. So this is sort of like a southern gothic queer love story between two boys and that's really all that I know about it but that's all that I needed to know before I knew I wanted to read it so I'm excited. <laughs> All right, so another one that I absolutely adored and gave a rave review to because it's amazing is The Dragons, The Giant, The Women by Way of Two More. I ordered this one. They did send me an arc at some point, but I sent it along to someone else and was just like, I'm just going to buy a finished copy anyway. So yeah, I love this book. So go check it out. I will link the interview I did with Way of Two More down below. All right, so here are the books that I picked up from publishers. I don't know much about them. I'll tell you what I can, uh, but these are just so you can keep an eye out for them. Uh, so first up is um, Kat Moran's More Than a Woman. Um, I read How She Be a Woman a while ago, and I find Catelyn Moran very interesting. She's at least very fun to watch, but you know, sometimes she steps in it a bit and then she has to backtrack and her work is very much, her feminism is very much evolving, which is interesting. So if she makes a mistake, she tries to correct it in the future, which is great to see. But it's been really interesting to and engage with her work as an American because she's very much a British uh, personality. And uh, also her hair is great. She always has great hair. 
So the next book I have was sent to me from Harper, and this is Thin Girls by Diana Clark, and this looks at um, a girl with an eating disorder. I have some experience being a family member of someone who has experienced an eating disorder, and so that really formed a lot of my growing up years. So I've always been interested in the topic of it and how our perception of eating disorders has changed over time and different things like that. So um, I'm very interested in this one, but of course, content warnings for eating disorders, if that's something you need to be aware of. So I said I love Hub City Press, and here's another reason why. They're publishing A Measure of Belonging, 21 Writers of Color on the New American South, edited by Snell Barnes. Snell Barnes was on The Reading Woman shortlist for a couple years ago, I think, for her memoir, Monsoon Mansion. And so I'm so excited about this. They put this in, they sunk it in with the book that I bought earlier in this haul, and I was so thrilled. I sent them an email immediately like oh my word thank you so much and overflowing of excitement. I mean it has Natalia Sylvester in it and KC Lehman and it has uh, Atiana Clark and Jennifer Hope Choi and oh my word so many people so many people. Um, of course everything's linked down below if you want to go check it out and pre-order it because you should. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay so this one was uh, Put on my radar by Samaya, who has her own booktube channel now. I've mentioned her name enough times. Uh, you all should know who she is. Uh, but she is a friend of mine from the Booktronet, who now we now work together. She's a co-host for Reading Woman, and she now has her own booktube channel. Go forth and follow and subscribe and watch her videos and engage in all of the things because she's amazing. Um, so anyway, she sent me um, word about this one, and I realized it was being published in the press by Two Dollar Radio. So this is Alligator and Other Stories. Oh, this is by a uh, Syrian American author, I believe. I've never read a book by a Syrian American author. I'm very excited for this one. A book I have no idea what it's about, but I was sent a copy and I kept it because I think Matthew hauled this at some point. This is Beside Myself by Sasha Mariana Salzman, and again, no idea what it's about, but I look forward to reading it because the kind of person I am. So a book that was sent to me from Knopf um, for Caribbean Heritage Month is this book that we featured. Um, my friend Laura was a guest on Reading Woman and she is Haitian American so she wanted to feature Haitian authors. So, so this is My Mother's House by Francesca Momsplacier and uh, sorry my French is terrible and this is a book about well this house and it's like I think narrated by the house and the beginning of the house the house commits suicide and if you really want to know more about it I'll link the episode where Laura talks about it down below you can go check it out but I was like yes this is the book I need I need to read this book so um, I haven't seen it too many places on bookstagram or booktube so definitely go check it out if you haven't already so a book from uh, West Virginia University Press. I love their anthologies so much. And so they have one out that is more academic. It's Storytelling in Queer Appalachia, Imagining and Writing the Unspeakable Other, edited by Hilary Glasby, Sherry Graydon, and Rachel Ryerson. And this is more rhetoric based and looks at language and all sorts of weird academic -y things. So if you're just looking for like, you know, personal essays, this might not be your jam. But if you're interested in the topic, of like storytelling in queer Appalachia, this is your jam. Like this is it. It is a more academic title, so it is more higher priced, but I will get back with you once I read it because I mean, look at that. So I haven't hauled a food book in a while. So here's a food book. Gina Ray Le Serva is the author of Feasting Wild in Search of the Last Untamed Food. And she just looks at like wild food and like I think she's looking at like the history of wild food and where we got our food and all sorts of topics around that as a someone who grew up in Appalachia hunting was a big part of the culture and that's how we got some of our food as well um and then also like gardening and growing and that was a huge huge part of the Appalachian side of my family's like living experience where they got their food so I, that's an important part, a topic to me around food because sometimes I feel like the average person doesn't understand where their food comes from and I think that's important to understand. So this is part of that, um, especially if you have a background foraging or hunting or whatever it is, um, I think this you might find useful. 
So here's a book that I saw Silas House recommend on his Instagram and then I was like, wait, I think I got a copy of that book. And so I went through my stack and I found this one. So I pulled it out and this is Simon the Fiddler by Paulette Giles. Um, this is the author of uh, The News of the World. And so the author is a National Book Award finalist. And so this book is about... Um, in March 1865, the long and bitter war between the states is winding down. Until now, 23-year-old Sam Bodlin has evaded military duty thanks to his slight stature, youthful appearance, and utter lack of compunction about bending the truth. And so it follows his journey through um, Civil War time Texas. I haven't seen too many reviews from this other than Silas House recommending it. So before I pick it up, I do want to check those out because I check a multiple places before I pick up a book to actually read it so um but yeah we'll see what happens with this this is out from William Morrow and I feel like I feel like they did the the book a disservice with this cover that's all I need to say <laughs> um so uh I love Europa and they sent me the new Muriel Barbary I love Muriel Barbary I own all of her stuff from Europa this is a strange country um, I'm excited for this. The other books of hers have come onto audio, at least two of them, and I don't think the the one about elves screen on the cover, whatever, is on audio. I'm not sure, but like that's the thing. It's like I love Europa's books, but some of them don't make it to audio because the audio rights are separate. It's complicated, but I hope it's on audio because I really love Muriel Barbary. She's just so fascinating to read. It's like taking my mind to the gym. So I really think it's important to support uh, authors with disabilities and or chronic illnesses even when they don't write about that topic. And so this is why I wanted to read this one, which is Brown Album, Essays on Exile and Identity by Porchisa Kapoor. She has Lyme disease and or EDS and POTS. And so she and I have very similar conditions. And so I really followed her career and what she writes and different things and she's written a lot of essays for various outlets so I'm glad she's pulled them all together and this is on audio this is out from vintage um and I'm excited to get to it and I actually I do really like that cover um very well put together okay so those are all the books I'm going to show you today thank you so much for watching um of course all the books will be linked down below you can go check them out uh go pre-order as you so desire um if you want the most updated reviews from me per usual check out my Instagram at KD Winchester, especially since I might be taking periodic breaks for my health. Um, you'll definitely want to go check that out to get updates and stories and all sorts of things that I do there that are much easier than formally sitting down, putting on makeup and yeah, the whole production thing. All right, so that's it for me and I guess I'll see you next one. Bye guys.